All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you, I'm going to go through how to solve a uh, multi-step um, with the variable on the same side. Now, when we're solving multi-step with a variable on the same side, our purpose is to simplify it down to a two-step, right? You know a two-step, right? So what we want to do is we want to simplify it down to a two-step. So to do that, when we, whenever you see parentheses, think of obviously order of operations. Can we simplify inside these parentheses? Can we simplify? No. But now we, but then, so we can't simplify inside. So now we look to is there anything being multiplied by the parentheses? Yes. yes. Here, no. So then the next thing I need to do is distribute using my distributive property. Here, I really actually don't need these parentheses because there's nothing being applied to them. So it's x minus 3 minus 2. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 equals 6. Now I need to combine like terms. So once I apply my distributive property, that eliminates my parentheses. Now I combine like terms. And a lot of times it's very helpful just to rewrite the terms next to each other. As long as you keep the signs, you'll be OK. So x minus 2x is negative x. And then negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Minus 2 is negative 7 equals 6. Now to go ahead and solve. Add 7 on both. So I'm sorry. So now what I have done by applying distributive property, by combining like terms, I have now simplified this to a two-step equation where you can solve it. Okay? So really the only difficult thing with solving multi-step when you have variables on the same side is applying, you know, simplifying it down to a two-step. And then once it's a two-step, you just go ahead and solve. So x equals negative 13 in that example. Now, the one thing I did see, though, in yours, 